Good evening. This is Ninka Deshala. I'm back again for us to discuss our Facebook discussion. Yeah, I said, um, like I said, we're discussing Facebook. Why your Facebook ads? You know, you display your store. Facebook has the store where you are selling your goods and products and everything. So why is your shop not selling? Why are you spending money and your shops is not selling? So we are here again to discuss that. If you join me in the afternoon, we did part one. So this is part two. I promise I'll be back. And um, I promise I'll be back. And so we are here back to quickly discuss just briefly some 20 30 minutes now let me tell you something let me ask you a question again if you meet a new girl you meet a new girl on the road and uh, you you saw a girl and you like the girl will you just if you just walk up to the girl that day and say oh girl i want to marry you you know it looks strange he'll be looking at you as ah what is this boy what they talk now what is, what is, what is this one they talk so but assuming uh so it means you cannot meet somebody in a day and uh, start buying from them like okay you're online i don't know you before i've not known you before i don't know anything about you and you just come and meet me and say come and marry me it looks some of wonder mm -hmm. what did you miss you know so that's that kind of thing but let's assume gradually you just come and meet oh, please give me your number you know the way you guys do now so gradually to a little you got to know the person and everything that's the same way facebook ads work for instance you don't just post something online you've not said anything before like you know bef before we went on break i said well, open your shop you open your shop and your shop is there and as you open your shop you put something in your shop you put uh, materials in your shop or the materials you are putting in your shop by my explanation now it's not physical material it could be it could be it could be for people that are online if you have something you are selling online like for instance in my home case i will be putting my uh, if i want to my shop on facebook now will be i want to sell my books you know i've written a lot of books in agriculture i've written on tomato cucumber maize and i'll be putting it that's what i'm putting in my shop as in come and buy my book come and buy my tomato book, come and buy my pepper book or i'll be putting i've just planted tomato come and buy i've just planted pepper come and buy come and buy my way do you know i'm I, but you see the people it's easier for you to buy from somebody that you know than buy from somebody you don't know before for instance you will buy from somebody you've been buying from one woman close to your house before all of a sudden one new woman just came and started her shop you first be passing out you even take her as enemy in in because you want to how can this one just come in competition with my friend you know that kind of thing so why did woman need to do it every day she'll be greeting you hey, hello madam hello girl welcome welcome so at one time eventually you say ah and that woman is always greeting me oh let me just buy something from her and that woman is always doing this let me you know that is the way facebook to work the normal thing that happens in real life is just what translates to internet and but so now there are stages if you want to sell on facebook i told you before we went on break if, if you not watch the first video please go and look at the first video and we'll go through it where i say why your facebook ads is not working i told you this is not supposed to be my line but i'll be reading a lot about, on it and uh, i understand i'll be attending a lot of lectures on the trainings which i did not understand they will just tell me and i will not understand so i have to sit down and self-taught myself i, I self-teach myself i will be i learned on my own a lot of these things i learned to understand them on my own so it's like you know i can learn one thing for several weeks i've been on it for long so now what I'm telling you, so it's stages by stages. You need to build and build a stage. And like I told you, I've already told you about your content. You need content. You, can't, you cannot go and invite people to come to your shop and there's nothing in the shop. They'll go back. So you need content. And that content doesn't mean you need to look for something. It is what you are doing. If you, if you are a mechanic, your work, take the picture. When you are doing the mechanic, when you are, okay, I just repair one door today. Put the picture there. The process. Okay, that door, my customer came and the door got broken and I need to put a gun. By the time you put it, as if you are teaching somebody, you are explaining to somebody. Just uh, the videos, the whatever. Put it in your store. So somebody that has that kind of problem next time, as it's Googling or searching, he will say, oh, somebody, this guy, this is the way he did it, this is the way he did it. That is how we were copying things from YouTube and all this stuff. So, but you are doing it, you are not putting it online. Like, I, I, it was, it occurred to me that I've been wasting a lot of videos. You know, I do a lot of things on the farm. I plant, I nose, I do a lot of things that could fill a video. And, uh, but I've been throwing them away because I don't know how to use them. I don't know their money. As we are working, that 
spe specific thing you are doing that your work okay you are selling pepper but before you sell the pepper you display the pepper on your shelf so take the video okay this morning i'm on my shop i've taken uh, this is the pepper i'm going to sell and you pick it and you know the process people want to know the process they don't know the process so you need to take the process and explain it to them and put it on your sh your shop that is your that is what you are selling if uh, you, you you know i just like there's a lot of things so you so it's that's why i said everybody needs to know this everybody needs to use it it's not only farmer initially i wanted to put the course and said strictly for farmers and i look at it there are people that are not farmers why must it be only farmers so anything you are if you are if, if you are if, if you are uh, anything you are doing if you are selling food how you prepare the food as in okay how to prepare how to prepare a greasy soup you put water you add salt you add the process the video of the process and the video doesn't have to be more than five minutes ten minutes two minutes you know at least three minutes three four minutes no three minutes for because you eventually when you get to a stage you get paid by facebook for people watching your video for three minutes if people are uh, maybe i'll show you the creative there's a creator studio on this facebook right now it shows you when people watch your video there's a point for you when people watch your video for three minutes when they watch your video for one minute when they watch your video for two, you know stages by stages of everything so now with this i'm going to be explaining now if you want now to create facebook ad now you want to do marketing marketing is okay i already built my shop i already have my facebook page i have something like oh, this ads manager the moment you have your facebook page facebook creates ads manager so there's a way see um it's a very technical process all these things are explaining i try to break them down after breaking them down i come with a class on them where i'll have to be putting you throughout to it's yes it's a bit technical i won't lie to you i've learned them my own but i don't know if i'm i will see what i can do or if i can get somebody to support me how i can put you guys through to create your own facebook page to do the adverts now the ads you want to okay you already have your shop which is your facebook page Maybe you, now you want to, you've started putting in your shop as in your content that thing you copy from uh, your process the process of sewing your clothes or the process of where uh, you are you are, you are, you are, you are and you are in Bababa. The purpose why you are cutting somebody here. Look for somebody. Just go and buy all this stand that used to hold phone. Just put your phone inside it. Put it beside you on the shop. Let it be recording you as you are walking. Just like a hey, be recording it. Put it there. This is what I did. This is the style I did for one man today. You know how to do this. How to do this. If okay, how to make your hair neat so that how to cut your hair so that it won't have dandruff. How to you know those little things that we didn't can't that we, those are your contents those are your content those are the things you need to put in that your store now if you put it in your store and you are looking at it, you will not get any so after putting it in your store it means it means you need to find people bring people to come i told you before we left for break i said the first set of people you need to bring is people that will like your page as in facebook will go and help you find people that will like your page i've told you how they do that as you are, when you're logging on to facebook drop your age you drop your date of birth you drop your location you drop your Lot of things so that the things they are using they are using my own they are using your own they are using everybody's own so there's no big deal there so now when they now go they are if you want to do advertisement like i told you if you do advertisement i said i want people to come to my page let me know me let me come to my page they are going to use facebook likes and i want more likes i want people to like my page i want to quickly build my page so that many people will be on my page and then then there's an advantage if many people are on your page when new person comes you say, ah, this person is doing a lot of work they want to see people see if you have maybe you are passing on the road you saw two three people gathering then another four is going another five. what will you do your curiosity will be will develop you want to go and see what's happening there normally if there's nothing they will not go there but because of your curiosity so the same thing on facebook when you see that you look at the comments 100 people have comments okay what are they commenting at let me me i go see waiting in the check there that is it what it's happening there so they will come and check your job and only for you if you have something good content and if what you are doing is okay i never had this before oh this one just telling me this then they'll stay or they'll keep coming back and uh, so that likes is just to bring people to your page so there's an advert you can make for that and believe me the Cost to make the advert is like you can use one thousand to bring one thousand to bring fifty sixty people to your page. You know, if you open your Facebook page, there are some you open in Naira and ads ads 
I told this at Facebook ads. That has you have an ad manager, your accountant that is managing things for you. So it's that accountant that you'll be, that's where you'll be running your manager, your business. That's where you'll be running your business. So each time you want to do that, you leave Facebook. It's inside Facebook. It's inside that your page that you get to that application and you'll be running your manager. Then there's one that if you send this one engagement, people that that advert again. That will be coming to comment and whatever. And you know, the more people comment, the more you have to be responding to them. If you if people comment on your opinion, you're not responding, they will not come back again. But if you comment and they're responding, they might you might post something they will share, and their friends and whatever will see it, and then they will come back to your page. So it's a kind of it's keep building, it's like a net, it's keep building as you are building. Then after the engagement, there's something called I was just a girl. You met a girl on the road, and you just married that day. You just first one. The light is where you need to. When the engagement, you start putting more of your videos, uh, videos or even comments. And see, like I said, you don't have to be useless comments. Or uh, if you are my page, no, it's Greek, Greek, Greek. Most people know you for a Greek, or most people know you for a carpentry work. Stay with your carpentry work. Because if you start bringing this, any, any other thing, and you're not a newspaper, you're not whatever, at the end of the day, they will, your the content will be watery. So you might not be able to get good people to come. When people come, they, they just ease and go back again. So, but when you have things that keep them coming, they want to learn more and learn more from you. So every step in your, in your process, every step in your business, you turn them to story, you turn them to uh, videos, you turn them to anything you want to turn them to, and you keep building and building on Facebook. So it's, it's not that you come there every day and come and be uh, just be waste, burning your data and doing every sort of thing. So I've told you about likes, I've told you about engagement, and I'm now conversion. Now, the like stage, just you are introducing, you are telling people, this is my shop. The engagement stage, you want people that will comment, people that will participate, people that... <laughs> okay, I got you, Nadu, thank you. <laughs> Don't mind me, no. So, people, you want people that will participate, people that will talk to you. That's the other start stage. The engagement, is a, there's another advert for that. You know, like I told you, you can do advert to bring more people to your page. You want, depending, your money, you know, in my chat, in my language, they will say, uh, you go, uh, you will enjoy white men, uh, white man, you will enjoy Weibo as much as you have money. As in, is your quantity, the quantity of money you have is how much you will enjoy Facebook. If I choose 1,000 ad, they will show you, even in the ad, in your uh, ad manager, they will already be showing you the number of people that you might likely get. They will give you a range where you're 1,000. If you click increase it to 2,000, the range will increase. If you increase it to 5,000, the range will increase. I always play with all those things. But you know, I would advise when you are starting, by the time you know how to start it, start with 1,000. Then when you see that the 1,000 is doing very fine, you cannot increase or for, you can increase or build another one that will be 2,000. You know, the more you put, as in it's like advertisement on radio. Like you went to the radio station and said, look, I want to advertise my work for me. So you have to, they will tell you 10 minutes is 1,000. So it means if you want 20 minutes, you increase to 2,000. If you want 10 minutes, you increase to 1,000. That is how Facebook works. <laughs> this is a farmer going to... No, I mean, no, the farmer has become... It's, it's been... Uh, <laughs> it's for you, my dad. I was thinking, let me explain to you. So, so it's... It's out your money that you will get. They will show you there's a place you will look at. It's your ads manager. By the time when you create your ads manager, they will be showing you from so so. This is the likely click you will get people that will come to your page. Then the engagement. When people start coming, engage them. Keep talking. They will ask you questions. Answer them to them. So people will say, I want to know. Attend to them. The more you attend to them, if you see that you are very engaging and whatever, they help you also share. They look for more better, more people that are likely going into that your into that your that your aspect to help you get more customer. Now the other third one, you know, don't forget the story I, I mentioned when I first came in. If you see a new girl, the first thing you do is to just okay, give me your number now, trace her to know her house. Those are the likes, the engagement. You start talking to her sometimes. She will show you off. She will not answer you you know all those kind of things and yeah, maybe she one day you keep following her and she's okay come, come see her now go we'll, we'll give you the seat for front of the house you know you are becoming conversant the same thing with facebook so by the time you are engaging people you are telling them okay they will ask a question you attend to them they will ask a question it means your page is building 
you are getting more people on your page. Sometimes you say something, some people will tag their friend, come or come see you. You know, they are bringing more people for you because it's a network. So as they are bringing that person, to, you know, it's going to, that's how you keep building and building it. By the time you start building the page, it will now get to a point. Those ones that have known you, you can now do conversion ads for them. Now, notice the way the stage is going in Facebook. There's a, an, an, another aspect, another type. There are different difference in those ads. There's different, different way. Like in the ads for likeness, you don't need your Facebook pixel. You are just bringing anybody. I just want you to come, just come, just come. Come and know me. This is me. This is what I'm selling. Then in your engagement, you, you need people that understand a bit of what you are doing and that will be asking you questions relating to what you are doing. So you understand. So there are, there are techniques in doing all, in creating all these ads. Separate, separate ads. Then the third one, but you have to follow the stages. Like me, I've not followed the stages before. I will jump, I will go and be doing conversion. When I've not done likes, I've not done engagement. You know, it's kind of, to be, to be candid, I've really make a lot of mistakes there. I've spent money doing anything I like until I sat down to take my time and understand the distance. Now, the next one is conversion. You know, by the time they're already knowing you, they've been chatting with you, you've been talking, you've been, they've been asking you, okay, that your okay, okay, how do you do it? How does it run? Does, uh, is it using petrol or water? You don't shun anybody. Then when you're on your page, some people will come and say, nah, lie, don't mind that, just remove them. Bah! Don't argue with them. You know, negative talks, negative whatever, remove them, just delete, delete. You know, sometimes I do something, if I don't want to delete you, I'll just hide the comment. There's a place, if somebody make a negative comment, I don't, you, don't, you don't need to fight. If somebody make a negative comment, just hide. Once you hide it, you, only me that hide, and the person that posts will be seeing that thing. Every other person coming to the page will not see it again. I do that a lot with people. It's when I know the person is disturbing me a lot, I just remove him or block. You understand? I don't necessarily block because you don't know the person that make a negative comment today might still make a positive comment in the next two days. So I try to give people that benefit of doubt for some time. You understand? So what you need to do first is you just let you add some comments when they are negative on your timeline. So you have to follow up on your timeline. If you are making adverts, you have to follow up on your timeline to be able to understand it. Then there's one thing about Facebook with this. All these things I'm telling you, where I'm I'm using my laptop now to do this thing. But on my phone, that hats manager, I'm telling you, you get the app on your phone and you can check your you can be checking how people are committing to you because Facebook will be showing you okay, 10 people when you make your hats, 10 people comment or 10 people like your page or 50, and they will tell you how much it costs. If you are spending money, they will be calculating, they will be removing their money. If you say you want to spend 1000 per day, they won't spend more than that 1000 per day. 1000 or 1020 per day, they will just give you some little rate. Sometimes they might not spend, it might be 990 something. You just, there's a way you fix it. I'll see if I can put you guys through, but it's after, that one has to be technical and ahead. So now you find out that if you are spending 1000 per day, you can check how many people convert under that 1000 at the end of the day. Even yesterday home, you can still check. You can compare yesterday conversion to today's conversion. So when your conversion is not working very well, you can decide to change. As in, okay, I'm too running. I'm running too much. I'm not going to audience. So for likes, you don't need those. You, you understand? You can start. Uh, there's some text. Let me leave that one for now. So under that conversion, conversion is now when you want to market something to them. You know, we started with likes. We are bringing them. Just come and know me. Come, 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 come as plenty as you want. That's why some people they will build your page, their page. We see one fifty thousand followers. We see two hundred followers. I told you I was scared when I used to see somebody that were on the Facebook together and you just see one fifty followers. But they will not tell you. So that's how they build those followers. Then you know you have those followers, which is bulk. You are not conversing with them. They are getting to know you. So the moment they are getting to know you, it is in the process of knowing you. You now do conversion ads. In that your conversion ad is that you market something to them. They already know you. You've been saying, okay, I'm selling pepe, I'm selling tomato, I'm selling ata. So I will now put, okay, if you want to buy pepe, you now design another ads. This one will be discussing. <laughs> you now design another ad ads. That means advertisement to say, okay, anybody that wants to buy pepe, I'm selling pepe, one one thousand naira. You will be surprised that out of those, that's your those your crowd, 50, 10 of them or whatever, because they already know you, they will readily buy from you because they know you. 
compared to people that do not know to that time when they don't know you know remember i told you later the girl will give you chair oh yeah sit down now from there you will start you become friends you know it's a gradual thing it depends on you, you understand me so they will now start buying from you that is how facebook has work now when and then not everybody that you advertise to in that conversion hat you saw the stages i put it to it's not everybody that you advertise to in that conversion hat that will buy from you no there are still some maybe for instance somebody is moving in a bus He's moving in a he's traveling and he saw your convert he saw your advertisement okay i'm selling pepe 1000 naira. come and buy you and he saw the advert okay and i want to buy but you know our attention span is very low uh low in the sense that something has come up again uh somebody maybe in a uh, something distract something just got him distracted he couldn't check again but because you have facebook pixel on your account you know it has recorded that person so what you now do is another heart called retargeting Retargeting means you are sending message to people that have either checked your Facebook page before, they've clicked something that they did not complete, some are even, you know, then you now send them retargeting. Retargeting means go and remind them again, go and tell them, say, they don't forget, they don't come back. So your retargeting will now go, okay, that's when somebody, so like, that's when, that is, that's another type of advertisement again. So you can see the stages we went through. From the likes to engagement to conversion to retargeting then there's a system in the ads manager anyone that have bought things from you before you put them in a in a you put them in a, in a certain place you cut them together people that have bought something from me and then you separate them so that when you are making advertisement those people that are and once you create that that we call it audience they call it audience <laughs> I told you it's technical. I don't want to go too fast for that. So now, people that have bought from you, you just go on. on that's your ad manager. There's a way we, you create it there. By the time you create it, you remove anyone that has bought. There's a way. It's not you will remove them one by one. There's a there's a code for you. There's a there's a a, for, a, a step before you remove them. Once you remove those ones that have bought from you before, so now when as you are making adverts, you are sending it to new people that have never bought from you before, and those ones that have bought for you, you not go to them. So those ones that has bought for you will be another new advert. Okay, you are not just selling one thing now. Maybe today you are advertising if you are a tailor. Today you are advertising skirt and blouse, the new style of skirt and blouse. So if somebody buy from that new style of skirt and blouse, you remove them and still be marketing to those people that did not buy. So those people that have bought, next time you will not market skirt and blouse to them again. You will market maybe gown, one beautiful gown that you just discovered. You market it to them again. So it's a kind of process, a process, a process. Now there's some major things I will still want us to, things I will, I will briefly explain again. <laughs> I'll briefly explain again here. So there's something if I told you when on Facebook, there's something that are very important things. I will just mention them. Now I mentioned in the first class. If you didn't attend that one, you can check the video on my Facebook or go to my YouTube because I normally move my videos from Facebook to YouTube to my YouTube channel because I know once I put post another thing, you know the videos will keep going down and I might not, might not find it again. So I don't, they are all in my YouTube channel. Now what I do is okay. What is this? There's something like I told you when you go on as you are on Facebook now, you, me, and you, our age is there, your age is there, my age, everybody's age is there, your location is there. You are in you are in Sokoto, I'm in Kogi, you are in Mina. It's not that it will not put your name, but it's already recorded that okay, 10 people visit this page, and uh, this is that different, different location. And all this one you can check in your Facebook by the time you get to understand, you can check them know where people are coming from know what you understand you know people's age we call it demographic there are three things in facebook when you are targeting as in you want to get to your customer see in the lights when you are bringing lights your targeting will be low what i mean by targeting is people you want to to come target is like okay the customer i want to go and bring from outside so when you are looking for likes i mentioned it the other time briefly again it depends on the type of likes you want if you want the likes to be to be very cheap you don't want to pay much but you want plenty followership you do worldwide there's a way you code it you just do worldwide likes in worldwide you don't spend more than 10 naira or 5 naira to get likes as in for every person that like your page is 5 naira it depends on your own your own product if your product like for my home is about 6 naira if i do worldwide and said i want likes worldwide it's like six naira five naira for me your home might be seven naira or eight naira depending on your products your content remember what i said about content now on that likes you don't need to target anybody you just post it to everybody their age the normal age on facebook is 18 to 65 so in that 18 to 65 anyone can target any location any age anywhere it will bring them for you 
people that will have interest in locating liking your page but they might not be buying they might not have they might not be people that will buy but just to follow you they are just there following you you know that kind of thing now the second one when you are going into engagement you want people that will comment in engagement now you have to reduce the volume you are using in likes you know likes is very cheap that's why you can get it for five naira, ten naira, and everything. But in engagement, engagement is not too cheap. Uh, as in the money you pay to get one person to engage, it's not too cheap. So, but again, you don't want bulk volume. If you are putting plenty volume, like for instance, if I put worldwide, it everybody eighteen to sixty-five year old worldwide, you know that volume is much. And if you put money, your money will not reach anywhere before it will be finishing. As in, it will not copy anything for you. So now there's a the stages. One, you are going to decide the age. The age. In that your likes, this is what I do. In that likes, you cannot go to where they bring all likes for you. Go and look at everybody that likes your page. When you get to where everybody that likes your page, you now look at their age. You look at their country. Yes, you can check it. Is you can even check on your phone. There's an app. Modeling, you get the ads manager. It can you can download it on your phone and you can use it to check. I pick my most times I pay on my phone for my Facebook boosting and everything. It's just laptop. There are some things you need laptop for. Sincerely, you need to laptop. You also need to have a website. I'm not getting to the I'm just we're taking it gradually. So now you now, so you now on your, you now go to your, you know, understand. You have, have to reduce. Okay, your products, for instance, 18 to 65 year old, 65 year old are not looking to buy fine dress or depending on what you are selling. 18 year old might be too small for you. So you have to look at the age range and say, okay, I don't want 18 years old. They will not buy. They are just, you understand? I don't want Facebook to go and look for 18 year old for me. I just want Facebook to concentrate on 25 to 50 or 30 to 60 or there's another system. That one, I'm not discussing it today, where you can, uh, where you can really know where people are coming from, you know where they are coming from, you know their age, you know their interests, you even know there's a lot of things, it's intensive, I'm like, hey. but the basic one now. So, but when you want to make the engagement, you start reducing the volume. So that by the time you reduce it, the volume, you have about 500,000 people that, that your 1,000 or 2,000, you want to spend it to get people out from you, from 500,000 people. So you reduce, you first reduce with age, then you reduce with location. Most times you can reduce to Nigeria alone. You can reduce to Lagos. You can reduce to your location. You can reduce to wherever you are. For instance, if you know the people you want to buy from you are from I'm in your state now or I'm in Ibadan, and I want people only in Ibadan, I will reduce. I will, there's a way I will reduce it to Ibadan. If I want people only in uh, not so all the whole of Ibadan, in my street alone, I can reduce it to the number of people I want to target. So it will only be going in Facebook. And I will go and look for people that have registered on Facebook in that your streets that will possibly that I didn't even know your shop before that will now look for your shop. That's what Facebook has to do. But like I told you, the more you are reducing the targeting, the costlier it becomes for you. Do you understand? Like, you know, I told you worldwide is the cheapest, but the as you are reducing targeting, if, like my worldwide, I told you it's five naira, six naira. By the time I start reducing, I might be spending 10 naira, I might be spending 15 naira, I might be spending 100 naira per one person to get one person to like my business you know it's it's kind of something like that so it's depending on what you are really targeting okay so that's you, you reduce the age you reduce the lo location you factor in the location you factor in the gender if your work is basically male you can decide to remove all females if your work is basically females you can decide to remove all all uh all males you can factor in on gender so that's how you cut down the size of the people according to your money if you have plain money you still cut them down it's we quickly get to those people see let me tell you something Averagely, they say before you buy something on facebook before people most people, let me give you another thing if people go to google there's a google too there's a system for google i i've read those ones too I've, i am just so for google if let me tell you there are two make basic website people use they use google use facebook if anybody go on google and do that something it means they have intention to buy they are looking to buy that something but one thing about google is that it's not as uh, frequently used or it's basically not too it's, it doesn't have a business oriented whatever as facebook but if for, for facebook so in google so for somebody to get to your website from google it means they are really looking for that thing you know most time when you are looking for information you just 
type it in Google and it should take you to where you are going or bring those things for you. It means you really have an intent to buy or you are looking for that thing, that's Google, but it doesn't have a kind of power that Facebook has. Facebook was able to pick a lot of things. So, but on Facebook, I'm not going to Facebook to buy something. I'm going there to just check my friends. Just, you know, every all of us, initially, we just go there to type, to play, to check our friends and play. But you now find that uh, they are not, now, where you are checking, Somebody now, let me use as an example like this. You were sitting there in front of your house. Then somebody was just parading. One ice cream man. You vouch never to drink to to take ice cream or whatever. But one ice cream man was just parading. The ice cream displaying. He will go. He will come back. He will go. He will come back. You know, at some point, what did they say? I better come. You buy one. That is the way Facebook works. So they believe that Facebook believes that for person for somebody to buy anything from Facebook, it must have you must have seen it for the seventh times. So that's why I said, so when you are deciding your volume, the volume of people you want to target, you have to consider your money too. And you have to understand how much does it cost me. For me to tell you, this is what worldwide cost me. You know, I've studied it. So you have to know, okay, how much does it cost me to get somebody? So you know, okay, multiply that. There's a way we calculate budget. That's another topic entirely, honestly, guys. So there's a way you calculate, you budget how much you want to spend. So that you don't want to spend for like a month. <laughs> you know <laughs> you know how much you want to spend for like a month and then you put that money into Facebook and you allow it to run. Now let me tell you one, this, one thing about the ads. <laughs> one thing about the ads is that if you put some money, I'm not going to bill it yet, we are still getting ourselves familiar, but I just tell you, if you want to run a, an ad, advertisement, when I say ads, is advertisement, when you want to run an advertisement for a month, you should budget yourself properly. Okay, every day I want to spend two two thousand, or it means in a month you are spending sixty thousand. If you can afford, just put it fifty thousand, convert it into Facebook uh, billing something. There's a way you convert the money there, and it will be taking it gradually and be spending it for you to do what you want to do. Because if you forgot to load your account and uh, the account has been doing fine, they call it. I mentioned the other that they say I, algorithms. For, sorry, I'm just a farmer trying to pick all this thing. They call it algorithms. If the algorithms is working already, it's searching for customer for you, it's getting people for you, and your money finished, it stopped. By the time you add money to it, it will go and start from zero again. As in all those places where it is before, where it's expanding, it's like, see, it starts from a point and it keeps expanding and expanding like this. Eh? The moment your money stops, you didn't put money or you forgot or you slept or sometimes I when I first started sometimes I would sleep off I'm not even bothered because I don't put much money there you know so once it stops it means you're coming back to zero level you understand all the effort you've done before they are still fine they are okay but it will not quickly get you better customer again it will start restarting it's like you are start restarting the computer or you know the way computer works we are restarting it's starting to reboot all over again so it is advisable okay you want to spend two thousand every day Put that money right there or consider every every week i'll put my ten thousand there and just let it see so that you can have rest of mind and then it will be bringing and the, and the algorithms will be working for you till when you come out but you have to check it it's on, it's on your phone you can put the application on your phone and you get you get the result guys i've tried okay uh -huh. now there's another one that advertisement we're talking about there's another one where we call message if you want Okay, for you, you don't want to use, uh, you want people that come onto your Facebook page to be sending you messages. They want to ask a question, but you want them to send you messages. There's an advertisement you will do for that. So if you do that advertisement for messages, you put your WhatsApp number right there. When you, when you do it, you put your WhatsApp number right there. And when people come to ask you, the Facebook will go and look for people that will send you message. That do like I tell you, you know the market now, 100 people might ask you something. Not all of them will buy. It might be... Actually, it's written that 2% of the people that came to you will actually buy 2%. If you can get 1%, 2%, you are fine. So now you know what we are working towards. You understand the budget, the calculation. So if you want them to be sending you WhatsApp message directly, there's a way you code it, you put it in advertisement. You, another about you design an advertisement for that for messages and you'll be getting messages you'll be getting messages i remember i normally do messages i don't like i messages is good so when they get you they will say hello i i read this thing from facebook then you respond to them directly okay this is what we are selling this is what we know you just attend to them some will buy some will not buy but there's a way you code it you have messages directly to your whatsapp how this can be done in your facebook or your facebook all this I've mentioned is on your Facebook. Then, like I told you, it's good to start with small money. But see, like I said, uh, you know, the Bible will say, the, it is how 
rich you are that you enjoy uh, modern things you know so the better but it's good to learn with one thousand and one thousand is like two dollar per day it's good to learn with two two dollar i'm still even learning it's only a few things i'll just put that book i'm still anyway you learn with two two dollar per day something you can lose and don't expect returns immediately you have to learn to first get, understand all this is i'm explaining to you it has taken me a lot of a lot of months to understand it but you know it's difficult i understand people are not explaining to everyone because possibly they look at it as wasting of time secondly they look at it as i don't know so you it takes you it takes some time but you are building you are building that's why you see all these um uh, influencers, you see them with 500. I saw somebody today, 220 something thousand page. If you were before, it's just to say, hey, Wow, but now I know how they got it, so I'm not really bothered or moved. So it's where that's how they you build a, a voice, you know. When people and then people quick immediately now, if you build that page to that high content, you have a big page like that. If you start posting good content, people will not come to your page again, or people will just be your followers and they will not be commenting and they will not be buying anything. So you still need you need content. Don't forget what I keep saying about content. You need something to something to keep them coming back. Something they can buy. Something they want to buy. Something they need to buy that will keep bringing them back to your page. You understand? But the moment, see, actually, the moment you get to ten thousand on Facebook, if you have if you have ten thousand followers and you have the videos, if you have videos and your videos have reached six hundred thousand views. As in people watching your video have reached 600,000 views and you have 15,000 engagement. Facebook will start paying you. They will start putting advertisement in your videos. As in, that's why when you are watching on your Facebook, you see some ads and everything. So any one, the moment they start putting advertisement in your videos, they will be paying you for that. Yeah, that's another one. The moment you understand when well, if you build your followership you build you have 15 people are engaging with you they are commenting they are participating with you and uh, they will start facebook they you call it there's a stage they will now move you to again it's called uh, from creator studio in creator studio you have monetization so you get qualified for monetization and then they start paying you so but you still need to maintain that uh that that uh, um, that horror that you start with you need to maintain it and whatever now the most important thing i've explained i've explained um i've explained likes engagement conversion and messages and what i told you how you can send you want them to be sending messages you want them to be sending whatsapp there's a there's advertisement for that so you see now if you really want to build your facebook imagine i've mentioned about five stages of advertisement that you can do on Facebook, five or six. So imagine spending one one thousand on each of them. That means you have six thousand per day. But what you need to do is target one product. If you target one product and continuously work on it for like a month, there will be different, big difference. You will start seeing people coming. You start selling. You start, start selling things. But you need to increase the money by the time you understand how the system. Works. One thousand is not you know, is not okay. Like most of the Facebook, uh, most of the internet guys that are that are helping people to do this, they will tell you if you don't have up to three hundred thousand per month, if you don't budget in Nigeria, if you don't budget like three hundred thousand, four hundred thousand per month, you should not even bother bother yourself about two fifty thousand to run on Facebook. But like I told you. I'm starting small, I'm learning, I've learned just like I'm explaining to you now. So now I can now increase what I'm using. So, but if you are starting, don't jump into it. Start with small money, something you can lose, something you can, you know what I mean, and then build, learn, and then maybe and they come with some trainings on that. But it's you can see it's technical. Each each of these things have different different method of of uh different different method of of applying them of fixing them in your ads and you can you can keep them running you can you will be able to reach them you'll be reading them you'll be following up you know how many people now as you build your system like that it will get to a stage there's something called audience audience are the people that like your page they are coming to your page whatever now you need to separate all these audience like i told you according to age uh age uh, gender location and all this stuff you need to before okay now there's another one we call in convert we call detailed targeting in detail targeting facebook is always changing things i remember when i first started detail targeting i was always when i started detail targeting i was always if i want to google tomato i will see tomato but now facebook is removing all those things they're always removing things and changing things so the more people get their hair so now for instance you you are in my agric now i'm agriculture 
But I want to target agriculture. I will go to detail targeting. Okay, this this advertisement, I want to send it to people that have that have shown interest on Facebook that they like agriculture. If I pick that agriculture, I may have two million people. In, before I do that, I will have reduced it to people that are in Lagos or people that are in Nigeria or people that are in my location. So I will now Google when I when I click it, I may be getting like two million or three million people. 3 million people is too much for you to start. Even if you are spending 10,000 per day, whatever, you should still come down to like 500,000 for your advertisement. So I will now look at it. Okay, I want people that have interest in agriculture and also and also having interest in crop production. You know, you can have interest in agriculture and you don't have interest in crop production. So there is a way you, you whittle it down gradually from one stage to the other, from one stage to the other, and you get to your 500,000. You can even get to 300,000. You keep reducing to the numbers you want and you put your money and then you start reading your advert in your application and in your phone. So, but you cannot do your advertisement on your phone. You can only do it on your laptop. But you can come back to your phone to, to check results, to put money, if you want to add money from, transfer money from your account, and obviously you can check your phone. I think guys, I've tried this after evening. I, if you have questions, you can drop it if I can attend to it. I told you, uh, there's still a lot of detail details, but I just felt, let me share this with you. And uh, it's, it's, it was, it's exciting, you know, I've discovered a lot from it and it's exciting. And like I told you, I've paid several days for people to teach me. I've paid, I've joined classes. I won't pay for private classes, but still I'm not getting anything. So I have to say that. And I know for me to be having this kind of challenges, I know a lot of people are also going through the same challenges. People keep spending money. You see them come and give their testimony. I made, yes, they are making that money on Facebook. There's literally money on Facebook. But you need to know how they got to that money. As in, you need to know how they get there, how they, you know, you need to, our heads will just be throwing money away, throwing money away. There's a way they calculate budgets. There's a way, there's a lot, a lot, a lot. Now, and then apart from Facebook, Google also has its own. They're not even Google now. There's something called Google Analytics. In Google Analytics, you combine, when you combine Google Analytics with Facebook, in Google Analytics, Google Analytics will tell you the website, uh, if you have a website, you can only use Google Analytics if you have a website. If you have a website and you combine Google Analytics onto your website, and uh, it will tell you how many minutes people are spending on your website or your Facebook. It will tell you how many minutes they are spending. It will tell you where they are coming. It will tell you their other interests. Some other things they have interest in. Apart from, for instance, I check my Google Analytics and I see my audience that likes, they likes food. They like, uh, they like sports. I even, they even show me the banks most of them are using. They show, as in GTB, Zenith Bank, like my potential audience, people that are always coming, similar people that are always coming to my page. They love this. This is what they love. They love watching uh, Jumia. They love going to Jumia to buy something. They love, you know, you know those kind of things. That is an intensive one. Again, you go to Google Analytics and uh, you get all those answers. There's a lot to learn. But for now, I will stop here so that you can go over this. See, I see. There's something I've understand. When I was learning this Facebook ads, you see people that are doing this thing. They will come and start bombarding you. They will, they will push this to you. You are just getting to understand this. Then they will bring another thing. Then another thing. That at the point, I don't rush to follow people again. That one you brought in, I want to understand it first. It is when I understand it that I can now be okay. You understand? That's the way I learn. So I refuse to jump into other. I take my step to go one by one to understand to the basis. Actually, how did I get this? Like I told you, it's been a long series and everything. So I'm going to stop here for this evening. I'm not seeing any questions, so I'll just stop this one for this evening. And maybe tomorrow, I may still get. But like the practical aspect of it, honestly, I will see what I can do. But it's not. I will see the practical as in setting up a practice. That one, you need to have your laptop. You need to, if you want to follow up, you can do that. You can do that on your phone. You need to have a laptop. It's a practical something. I may do a video showing the practical step by step of how to the likes, how to come, how to do the likes on your page, how to create your. How to create starting from number one you already have your timeline so now you need to first go and create your uh, you need to go and create your uh, your, your facebook page i told you your facebook page is your market is your your store in the market so you need to go and create your store and then you start posting things on your store as in what you are selling not on your timeline whatever you post on your timeline is not you cannot advertise from your timeline you cannot sell things from your timeline especially if you want to sell things for most of the uh, you wonder, like most of the influencers, they are not selling things. Maybe they are just, they don't have a 
especially since they are working, maybe they are just uh, helping people to advertise so they are making money from there. But if you have something personal like me now that I want to sell my, my farm produce, I want to sell my books, I want to sell, so I need a Facebook page where I can boost it. That's why somebody can advertise on Facebook and 1,000 people will buy their products because there's a way, those ones is intensive Google Analytics. There's a way you target the exact people you want to buy things from you. There's look-alike audience. But in the next class, I'm going to discuss about custom audience, look-alike audience. Audience are the people you want to buy things from you. So in the coming class, when I'm bringing up class, I will discuss audience, look-alike audience, custom audience, and the other type of audiences because you need to understand them before we can move forward. So guys, thank you and... Uh, I think I've done justice to that. You know, farmer turn it to internet, whatever. So I've done a lot of justice to that. Like I told you, I needed to boost my farm work. I needed to boost my market, and that's why I need to go learn it. And uh, it's been interesting. It's been interesting. So catch you some other time, guys. Okay.